Hi, my name is James Clem. This is a shorter video than most, but very important, so stay tuned. I have two requests for you folks, the viewers. Number one, I'm gonna start a Q&A here on YouTube from the comments that come in from a video request like this. So below, post your questions, any questions around CAD CAM dentistry or dentistry as a whole. I'll be happy to take them on. If I can't find the answer, I'll find someone who can. So go ahead and post those questions or comments and I'm looking forward for that segment coming to YouTube channel here. Number two, several weeks ago, I posted a video about is Sarek still relative in the system to get in today's market? Now, since then, Prime 2 has come out, which offers a whole lot more options. But within that video clip, I did make this comment about self-reliance. That's one reason why I love digital dentistry so much. So let's review that comment. There's another factor here in being successful in dental practice with self-reliance. I'm really into that. And that is to develop your skill sets to optimize and maximize what you can do with Sarek. Now, the beauty of that is that it's gonna pay for itself that much more. And the other thing you may wanna consider is, do you wanna keep writing off because you're contracted to insurance companies? Now, I made a choice 20 years ago to remove myself from those strains. And that is I have full relationship with my patients. We still process insurance for them, but I'm not contracted, nor do they set my fees. And yes, can that work? Absolutely. In fact, I'm associated with a company that is driven to help people develop their independence in dentistry and self-reliance. And if you want to know more about that, post a question below, because I can tell you the majority of you folks, if you really have the proper coaching and you want to go this route, you can go fee for service. So you're not writing off so much of what you do, meaning that you don't have to work so hard, you can control your overhead better, and it can be done with the proper coaching and with the decision that you would want to make on that. From that comment, I did receive quite a few requests to make a video about going fee for service and not writing off 30 to 40% of your fees and having more self-reliance and independence. I've done this for over half of my years in practice not that it was easy, but the best blessing I've had is to have that connection with a patient, choose the treatment that you think is best for that patient, and build that brand of excellence. And CAD CAM dentistry and digital dentistry has been part of that journey. But I know that right now, the latest I've seen is one in six practices in the U.S. want to go fee for service. I do have several colleagues that help doctors through this process, and I thought, Let's just do a live Zoom invitation with my colleagues so you can have Q&A. Any questions you have are there. I know when I made the journey, I did have coaching and that assurance of where someone's watching my back to give me the best advice in the journey. And I've really had that blessing. I did have quite a few requests from that comment on the video and I really appreciate it. Go ahead and follow the link below. The link below is to my website, catstar.org, and that's the contact section. Write your name down, your contact information, and your request to be part of the Zoom invitation for learning how to optimize your practice and be self-reliant in every aspect of how you practice. Thanks for watching this short clip. I'm having a great time in my practice. Even after 40 years, I'm not planning on going anywhere. I always plan to keep my fingers in it, particularly up here at my digital studio. That's why I have one chair. I'll continue making videos about the journey, particularly now with CAD CAM. You can choose a lot of different CAD CAM options. It's almost like the Wild West of where you can have one scanner, go into DS Core, move it to a software, use a CAM software, and mill even out on your Prime or MCXL and not even using the Prime Scan, even though I love the Prime Scan. So there's a lot of options where we're going. I think the future has never been better to optimize what you want to do in your office from a digital standpoint, particularly if you want to get into printing and also CAD CAM dentistry, which for me in my office has been the secret sauce of branding and really provide that passion bucket that I've enjoyed through the years. So thanks for watching. Comments and questions, post them below and I'll see you folks in that next video. Bye now.